I'm here in front of the Rocket Garden at the Kennedy Space Centre Visitor Complex and actually I was here almost three weeks ago to the day to see the launch of the European Space Agency Solar Orbiter mission. Now Solar Orbiter launched on an Atlas V rocket which is the latest generation in the series of Atlas rockets. In the garden behind me are two of the earlier generation rockets. We've got the Mercury Atlas at the back there and also the Atlas Agena and between these rockets they sent the first American into orbit around the Earth and they also launched missions that mapped the surface of the moon that was used for Apollo 11 and also sent Mariner 2 off to photograph Venus. But I was here for Solar Orbiter and so it gives me a really good opportunity now to give you an update. So Solar Orbiter launched on February the 9th and we were positioned in the Banana Creek viewing um, centre or platform which is uh, not too far from here. The launch was absolutely perfect. It was a clear night, the moon was near full, and we were able to track the rocket by eye, actually for about five minutes, until it became too faint to see. Now, the Solar Orbiter spacecraft carries 10 instruments on board, and the aim of the mission is to study the sun and to study the emissions that are sent off from the sun. There are 10 different instruments on board that collectively enable us to look at the sun and take images of the atmosphere, the surface, and also probe inside the sun and then a second set of instruments that measures emissions coming from the sun washing over the spacecraft itself sensing the electrically charged particles the magnetic fields around the spacecraft as of today solar orbiter is over 10 million kilometers from the earth and eight of the 10 instruments on board have successfully switched on. So the instrument that I'm most closely involved with is the Extreme Ultraviolet Imaging Telescope and that turned on successfully on February the 25th. So big relief for the team to be able to say that that one's now working successfully. And then we have two more instruments that will be turned on in the coming days. Now the launch of Solar Orbiter was actually a really good community event. So over here we had several hundred other solar physicists and their families and all the engineers who'd worked on the project. And it was great to be able to celebrate together because we've been working on Solar Orbiter for so long now. I remember writing science cases to help define the mission 15 years ago. And in fact, it's a great mission for the UK as well, because as well as my university, UCL, having worked on the mission, um, the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory led a telescope and Imperial College London led one too. So there's a great sense in the UK of, um, of euphoria that this mission so far has been successful and we're looking forward to what's to come. And in fact, on the launch night, as soon as I got back to my hotel, I bumped into the lead um, for the magnetometer, which is an instrument being supplied by Imperial College London and the PI of that instrument was already receiving data from that um, that instrument about the temperature of the instrument and he was showing how that temperature was dropping now Solar Orbiter had been launched into space so even though we don't have science data yet the engineers are in touch with the instruments and they are telling us that they are doing well so Solar Orbiter is on its way now heading into its orbit around the Sun it's going to use a series of gravity assists from Venus to alter its orbit and slowly bring it closer and closer into the Sun. The first gravity assist from Venus will happen in December this year. Then it will go on again to have another swing by Venus in um, August 2021. And then the orbit of Solar Orbiter will be um, approaching what's, what we need for our science investigations. And the science investigations will start in November 2021. So keep an eye out for Solar Orbiter. It will be in the news as we start to get all of the instruments turned on, first data coming in. There's going to be a lot to see. And Solar Orbiter is going to take images from a totally new part of the solar system. We are going to see things we have never seen before. We're going to get up close and personal with our local star. So all is going extremely well with Solar Orbiter at the moment. And you can follow the progress on the Cosmic Shambles website or follow me on Twitter, Dr underscore Lucy, and we'll give you updates of the final switch on of those two instruments and the first light images and data that we get coming back from the spacecraft so stay tuned we are going to see the Sun as we have never seen before and it's gonna be good